Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2 distance based shipping calculation plugin and in today's video tutorial we'll be showing you how the customers would be able to select the distance based shipping uh, method at the time of uh, checkout and how the admin can configure this particular shipping method so uh, we'll be showing you both of the uh, sites so before we proceed further let me give you a small gist of this particular plugin so basically using this uh, plugin the store admin can create a custom shipping method wherein the freight charges or the freight rate calculation would be based according to the unit distance between the origin address and the delivery address of the customer so uh, here the admin can set the rate per distance unit can add the handling charges the minimum charges can set the area that would be covered and can show the estimated delivery charges at the storefront on the product page itself apart from that the customers can check the estimated shipping charges based on the location uh, on the product page itself they can also enter the location to calculate the shipping charges that would be applicable for that particular product and uh, they can also choose the distance rate shipping at the time of check checkout after they have added their product to the cart and have proceeded further for placing the order so uh, let me uh, proceed further now and let me show you the front end working of this particular extension first and thereafter we'll be showing you how to configure the module itself from the admin backend panel so here i am at the uh, web store front end so i'll be logging into my account first and uh, thereafter i'll be placing the order so uh, i've entered my username and password for my customer account so i've logged in as uh, the test user so now let's go to tops and jackets and let me add this product and a medium and a black for this one so i have uh, right now added two products to my cart so i can tap on the proceed to checkout button so on the checkout button under the shipping address here you can see under the shipping methods we have the web cool distance rate shipping and uh, we have set the small uh, identification for this uh, shipping method as the distance rate shipping so the total cost for uh, shipping this product would be 791.42 dollars so let me take you back first to the product page itself so here i am at the product page for the oliva zip light jacket and here we have this option wherein the customers can check the estimated shipping charges uh, based on the location uh, of the customer itself so I've entered the New York uh, area and after that the customer just needs to tap on the calculate button and the estimated shipping cost is displayed to the customer here and similarly for the other product that we have added to the card let's go to the product page of that one so here uh, I've already selected the New York so I'll tap on the calculate button so the estimated shipping cost for this one is also 362 degree 362 dollars per product so basically that's how uh, the customers can uh, check the estimated uh, shipping charge uh, based on the location of the uh, customer himself and that way they can uh, check the cost uh, very early even before placing the order so let's go to the checkout now so i'll tap the uh, proceed uh, button there and here what we need to do is uh, now the customers after they have uh, checked the estimated shipping cost uh, they can choose the distant rate shipping or uh, the web cool distance rate shipping and can tap the next button to proceed further lastly the uh, customer just needs to tap on the place order button and on the right hand side for the order summary here you can see that the sh shipping charges are being displayed and the uh, shipping method is also visible that is the distance rate shipping and we have two products in the cart so i'll be placing the order by tapping the place order button here so the order has been placed let me uh, open the order itself uh, and here are the two products that we have uh, placed the order for and under the shipping method here you can see that we have chosen the distant rate shipping uh, and uh, now uh, let me take you back and uh, let me go to the admin backend panel and let me show you how the admin would be able to uh, basically set up this particular distance rate shipping uh, plugin from the admin backend 
so that uh, it gets available to the customers at the front end and thereby the customers can uh, uh, check the estimated shipping charges on the product page itself uh, by entering their location so uh, let me take you to the backend panel now so here I am at the uh, web store backend for the Magento 2 platform so I'll be logging in to my admin account first so after I've logged in uh, what we need to do is we need to navigate to go through stores and then configuration so this would be the initial configuration and after that we'll be showing you the uh, rest of the uh, configuration that needs to be done after this one so on the configuration page under the web cool block we have the distance rate shipping uh, sub menu option and here we have a number of options that need to be uh, uh, that need to be configured so the very first option that we have is to enable or disable this uh, particular plugin uh, for the web store so you can choose a yes or a no accordingly then we have the google map api key so you need to uh, register yourself at the Google Maps and uh, you can make use of the API key thereafter and that API key needs to be entered here within this particular section. After that we need to add the location of the admin. So uh, basically the Google Map API is also make, made uh, uh, to be entered so as to make it work. So here we'll add uh, the admin's location by typing in the address and we can choose the address thereafter so after choosing the address basically the admin location the admin latitude and longitude are automatically uh, entered then we have the show estimate on the product page whether you want to show the estimated uh, shipping cost uh, on the product page itself like I showed you in the uh, uh, demo just uh, a few minutes ago and uh, you can choose a yes or a no for that whether you want to uh, display or do you want to show the estimated uh, shipping uh, cost on the product page and lastly we can uh, set the option that is calculate distance based on so uh, how do you want to calculate the distance so should it be uh, based on the latitude or longitude or should it be based on the google map distance so you can choose any one of them so i'll be choosing the google map distance and after that we just need to tap the save configuration button so that uh, was the basic initial configuration uh, for the module itself now what we'll do is we'll be navigating to sales and under sales we'll be tapping the shipping methods here we'll be uh, configuring our uh, what we say as the shipping method so here we have a number of other shipping uh, uh, shippings as well so here we have the distance rate shipping and we have different options that need to be configured so we'll go through each of them one by one so whether you want to enable it for the checkout you can choose a yes or a no choosing a yes would enable this uh, for the checkout and the customers can select the particular distance rate shipping at the checkout time before placing the order you can set the title of this particular shipping method it's uh, the distance rate shipping or whatever you want to set it up as and this would be visible to the customers uh, at the uh, time of checkout and after placing the order as well under the my orders section they can check the uh, name of the shipping method that they had selected while placing the order you can also enter the method name so uh, you can set the method name as well after that we can set the rate per unit so basically the rate per unit is uh, equivalent to the uh, distance unit so uh, we have set it as 0.3 you can set the maximum area to cover so you can uh, enter the uh, number of kilometers within which uh, uh, the rate per unit would be applicable and uh, within this area whenever a customer enters uh, his a particular address and if that address comes under the maximum area cover then uh, the uh, customers would be able to place the orders then we have the option item wise rate so you can choose a yes or a no for the, uh, this so you can set the item wise rate as well so if there are two items in the cart then uh, it would work for uh, the two uh, items like uh, the shipping cost would be charged for both of the products there then we can set the handling charges it depends uh, on you then we can also set the minimum charge uh, for the shipping uh, method 
then we have a unit so uh, what unit you want to make use of whether you want to make use of kilometers or miles uh, depending upon your own uh, choice you can select kilometers or miles then you can choose the ship to applicable countries here you can uh, choose uh, to allow all the countries or specific countries of the world only if you have chosen all allowed countries then uh, all uh, the customer would be the customers would be able to place the orders from anywhere in the world otherwise if you choose it as specific countries that then you need to choose uh, the countries from where the customer would be able to place the uh, orders so we'll make it as allow all countries then we have uh, the option show method if not applicable you can choose as a yes or a no so if you want to uh, display the method if it's not applicable on the order so if you want to show it you can choose a yes otherwise you can choose a choose a no and you can also set up the display error message if that uh, method is not applicable then this particular message that you have entered here would be displayed to the customer at the time of checkout so this was uh, regarding the shipping method for the distance rate shipping and I'm show, I've shown you how we can set up the different options here and lastly we can tap the save configuration button to save the settings for the uh, uh, distance rate uh, shipping so uh, that was much about the Magento 2 distance based shipping calculation and I showed you how this so admin can create a custom shipping method wherein the freight rate calculation would be based on uh, be, would be based according to the unit distance between the origin address of the admin and the delivery address of the customer and how the admin can set the rate per distance unit at the handling charges the minimum charges set the area covered and show the estimated delivery charges at the storefront and i hope that this uh, particular video helped you out and if you have any questions or queries regarding this particular plugin then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uedes.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead.